Republican Senate. candidate, Senator David Perdue, joins us now. Senator, thanks very much for joining us. I know you're a busy man. And I think what, we've, what we're seeing here, uh, uh, and I think it's Hillary also uh, found out, is that celebrity doesn't necessarily uh, matter so much, and neither does having the most money. It's about reminding people about what's at stake and how Donald Trump won and why he won, which was about on the issues and, and wanting to maintain what has already been accomplished. Uh, tell us how you're viewing this in the midst of a very unique situation and what your thoughts are with the upcoming election. Well, hi, Tammy. Thanks for having me. But, you know, we already won this race once in November. We beat uh, the Democratic candidate by two points and the Libertarian got two. So the reality is that 52 and a half percent of Georgians voted against this Democratic agenda that's been they're trying to perpetrate on America and they defeated John Ossoff. So at 47 and a half percent, they've got a long way to go. But we're not taking anything for granted. We're out doing a 125 uh, stop bus tour right now. Kelly Leffler's doing the same thing. And we're taking it to the people in small town Georgia to make sure they understand what's at stake and they have a responsibility to get out and vote. If we get our vote out, I'll be very pleased with the outcome. But we're not taking anything for granted, Tammy. Well, that's good news because obviously there is a concern about, you know, we want legal votes to be counted. Uh, we want all the we want more people to vote, the better, because yeah. Americans have a tendency to not vote en masse. So this is a, a, a good thing for people to go out and vote. Uh, but there has been some discussion about the feud between President Trump and Governor Kemp of Georgia, who many people feel has not done enough to make people feel that there's enough control over this this runoff. Uh, it, it, some people want him primaried. Are you? Uh, do you think that is having an impact on the Republican Party itself? Because this clearly, this race uh, transcends party politics. This is about individual personal freedom, right? Uh, and that means uh, the, the Trump agenda being maintained, and you've got to do that by keeping the Senate. Uh, is it impacting your race? And, and how, what, how does it feel on the ground right now in the midst of all of that? Tammy, momentum is coming our way. People realize what's at stake here. We're the last line of defense against the Democratic onslaught and this radical socialist agenda that they've aspired to in the presidential election and continue to do so now. Uh, people in Georgia are beginning to realize how serious this is, and we won't get another chance if we don't stop it now. But the other thing is what you just said. If we gain these two seats and hold these two seats in the Republican hands, we can block what these Democrats are trying to do and protect what President Trump has accomplished over the last four years. Energy independence, the Iran nuclear deal. We helped six and a half million people pull themselves out of poverty because of this economic turnaround. These are things that the American people really want. I get emails and texts every day. Please hold the line in Georgia. And that's what we're committed to do here. Well, and that's imperative, obviously, because everyone, no matter what your party, uh, we've enjoyed being able to have our jobs back. We've enjoyed yeah. the extraordinary economy that we've accomplished. The idea of peace in the Middle East being accomplished so that your loved ones don't have to be sent to a foreign country to right. never come home again. Uh, for African Americans, the, the, the wage gap shrinking. No one wants that lost. And this is what's at stake here. Now, Raphael Warnock, uh, however, is now also dodging questions about uh, this body cam footage, sir, that surfaced of his ex-wife. Let's take a listen. This man's running for the United States Senate, and all he cares about right now is his reputation. I work at the mayor's office, and okay. this is a big problem. Okay. I've been trying to be very quiet about the way that he is for the sake of my kids and his reputation. I've tried to keep the way that he acts under wraps for a long time, and today he crossed the line. So that is what is going on here, and he's a great actor. He is phenomenal at putting on a really good show. Now, that's uh, one accusation, obviously, against one individual, but when we talk about economic security, is allowing women and everyone in every dynamic to be able to choose lives that best suit them with security and their freedom. Senator Warnock said he was staying focused on his family sure. and the people of Georgia. But do you think people deserve a bit more of an explanation here about what she was talking about and what this means about his character? Of course we do. The more we learn about uh, Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff, the more questions haven't been answered. I mean, for example, John Ossoff has this huge China scandal that he's not come clean on yet, and it really makes uh, Eric Swalwell and, and Hunter Biden's situation small in comparison. This is a man that I'm running against that took money from the Chinese Communist Party for two years, mm. hit it, lied about it, got caught, then came clean and lied about it again. 
So we've got a lot of questions that people in Georgia are asking about this. Raphael Warnock has, has said uh, not only wants to defund the police, he calls them thugs, criminals. I mean, these are people that, the, the bench on the Democratic side, uh, if these are the two types of people they want to represent Georgia, uh, they're out of step with most Georgians. These are the most liberal mm -hmm. candidates that I can remember in my lifetime the Democrats putting up from any state. And the people of Georgia are beginning to realize that, Tammy. I would hope so. Georgia's a great state. Senator, thank you very much. Look, this again transcends uh, party politics. This is about the American future. Uh, and this is one issue. We can do, do these projects one at a time. And for people who have a problem with what certain Republicans are doing, that can be addressed later on. But we'll keep our eye on the prize here. Thank you, sir, for joining me. I appreciate it. Now, Thanks,